Well, I was working on the battery powered mini suction dredge and uh, here's where I was trying it. I doesn't need much water but I need a little bit more than this. So maybe I'll show you what uh, I've been working on for flotation device and uh, sluice, uh, the actual gold recovery part of this project. Well, here's my partner in crime, Max. Just turned 16. I think he's finally starting to realize he's not a puppy anymore. He's uh, guarding the rocks that I found on the last trip. Especially this iron ore chunk of crap. This one here is pretty cool. See what that looks like with this camera. All those crystals growing out of that. Yeah. Fancy. Got me some fancy rock. Okay. Let's get to the goodies here. Hey. Uh huh. I'd actually packed all of this away because uh, we got a good snowstorm. I thought we were done for the year, but I'll get to get to that guy in a minute there. Uh, oh, jeez, what do I got going on here? Uh, I was actually going to use that like a flare end of a sluice. Uh, Hey, give me a second here, and I'm just going to pull all this out and show you. You don't need... Ooh, Stubby, I missed you. All right. All right, going to try this here. So, here's my flotation device. For the little battery-powered dredge. All I'd quick. Platform's kind of cool because I just made this out of two inch PVC with some little home brewed hardware there and then you can you know raise the back and, and adjust those hook it into the end of your sluice and get the angle right and seems to float pretty good you put this one on there if I, the reason I made this one is because I got a little craft box so again just a little home brew 3d printed whatever with the hose adapter on the end there so you have a little craft box and then you could have your your jet going straight into your craft box there and into something like this you can even turn that into a recirculated system if you want that'd be kind of cool there this is my my homemade one that's one of those uh, rainwater diverters for your downspouts on your rain gutters and decided hey that make a nice thing so it's just uh, something I took a trip one night to the hardware store and found a little indoor outdoor carpeting and a rain gutter cover and uh, some angled aluminum and and then this uh, base here I'm like ah that's a sluice make a, a smaller sluice or a smaller power jet uh, here's the one that we tried that's working really good. I like this one. So I thought, well, maybe we'll make a smaller one. But uh, no, we got that one quite right because it's not working. I think the jet's wrong on it. Anyway, so just show you real quick. This is how we would hook it up. There we go, right there. Of course, you got your, just your bilge pump. goes in the water into the input here and I've actually switched those uh, fittings too so these are the type of fittings I want on there it fit on the other one this would just be quicker to fit it input goes in there then you need your suction nozzle suction hose so I got me some vinyl hose with a connector and then uh, I made little classifiers this time so that's what this bag was so all sorts of different little 
classifiers, just uh, ones that are slightly reducing and then ones that actually really classify it out there. Uh, again, just playing around with the 3D printer, that's kind of fun. So you put your suction there. Yeah, and then you could just go in the back or you could run a foil or whatever right here. But we'd just put that in the back right there. And there's uh, the output of your power jet. Go into your crash box and then to your sleeves. Let's grab that other sleeve. Here's a real one. Just a small one I picked up for this sort of thing. Thought it might be kind of cool. So, yeah, and of course I could adjust the height or whatever. On this, that. So then, of course, that's where something like this would come in, huh? But you can see where I'm going. Dual input there, man. I'm going battery power, a full size one. With that, I could even do it on this one, just about. Except I don't want to run two pumps. Do something like that right there. Or just. Anyway, so that's how that little power jet would hook up. I don't know if you notice, there's this bucket right here. This was just a little collection bucket I made. I dr drilled holes along the top, except for I left one section because I don't want to be dumping the material out through the holes. We'll just dump it like that. Uh, but really, all you have to do is just have some sort of collection device with a hose fitting. And then I just used a, a rubber adapter and split it and just riveted it into place and made it so I can put whatever connection there on whichever bucket or however many buckets. And so this would be great with the little power jet and you're just up somewhere and you want to just suck out some bedrock and crevices or test a little area that worked pretty good rather than having this whole complex doohickey whatever it is so that's what I've been working on for now and uh, progressing a little bit further the weather might be pushing me out but we'll keep going at it until uh, something else happens whatever thanks for watching